my name is Peter Simpson. Uh, I'm a food technologist and I work for the College of Agriculture, Food and Rural Enterprise, or CAFRI. Oh, it involves quite a variety of jobs. Um, at the moment I'm predominantly involved in education, so I'm teaching food technology. But I'm also involved in working with the local food industry on numerous projects from developing new products to helping them design factories to helping them with legislation and liaise with customers. Really, no two days are the same in the, in the life of a food technologist. Many years ago, um, I came to the place I'm actually working at on a, a school trip and I saw the students manufacturing ice cream and burgers and sausages and things and uh, I was kind of interested in science at school. It always stuck in my mind that that's what I'd be interested in doing. My mother and father both came from agricultural backgrounds. Uh, my dad was involved in the agricultural sector um, selling farm feeds to farmers. My mum became a teacher, but even though she was from a farming background. So I've maybe got little bits of those, uh, those elements and, and, and form of my decisions of what I was going to do. I did enjoy school. Um, I enjoyed the school I was at, and that was probably the, the reason why I stayed on to do uh, A-levels. And I enjoyed it. A-levels, I thought, perhaps didn't prepare me for the world of work. Um, compared to maybe other qualifications that are available now and the subjects led me on to a fairly academic university course. But to get my practical experience I had to be in the workplace. My logic then was that uh, everyone has to eat and it's probably logic that has seen me through my career and uh, even now the students I, I, I teach now um, it's even more important because of all the manufacturing sectors the food technology sector, the food industry seems to be the most robust and there are still employment opportunities there. I studied food science um, at, uh, in Belfast. I left uh, college at the beginning of one of the last recessions in the early 90s and it was quite difficult to get a job so I worked on a, on a, a government scheme which paired me up with a, a local food business for, for a year and uh, I worked for, for uh, very little but it got my foot in the door and after that year was up I stayed with that food company and uh, I stayed in that, in that sector of the industry for about four years. Well, on my very first day, uh, I spent the day in the abattoir of a, a, a busy meat processing plant. And uh, I became responsible for putting in all the quality and safety systems that um, are commonplace in most food factories now. I moved to a, another meat processing plant, in fact, probably the, uh, the competitor. Uh, but I moved into a slightly different field, a, a field which I probably enjoyed most which was uh, new product development. And that involved uh, designing uh, new products, showing them to customers, and making sure the, uh, all the raw materials were there to manufacture it. So that was a very, very interesting part of it. Loads of people pigeonhole the food technology sector as being white wellies and a white coat and cold conditions, long hours. And there are, there are jobs like that which pay extremely well. But all around this, uh, the food industry, there's loads of other jobs. You know, somebody has to somebody has to develop the new products, someone has to obviously sell it, uh, organise the distribution of it, market it, the, the product um, and there's, there's quite a few different avenues that uh, I know that the students that I teach would, uh, would go down. I chose the academic pathway, it suited me, it got me to where I am now but for certain people the academic setup isn't, um, doesn't suit them and maybe a more vocational course may, be, may, may get them to the same place.